Okay, great. Um, I have Amendment B, um, and I do believe I've been keeping track, and we have $400,000 worth of savings. Um, $424,000. 424. Okay. Um, thanks for the good work, Mr. Salasi. Um, I am going to pass uh, around what I am calling Amendment B. It says uh, restore $424,000 to fund... 5200 and fund 5300 to start police and fire classes no later than October 31st, 2008. So um, this is going to be slow going because I thought we had 500,000. But I'll ask my. <coughs> we got another question if you want to take the time. Councilman uh, Thank, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, maybe now's a good time to do the math check. $1,000. Yeah. So, Okay, let me just tell you again um, what what the math that I've done, okay? Three, okay, so starting October 1, what the administration had in the budget was 387,266.82. If we subtract the 145.92, um, I have to do my math over again here. Hold on, so 3.8. 387.266.82 minus 145.297 is 241,969 dollars and 82 cents. Similarly, the administration has budgeted 158,690.89 for the fire class starting October 1. So. If we add that entire amount of the fire class, 158, 690, we get the happy number of $400,660.71. So to start this, November 1, police and fire, November 1, that number is $400,000. Based on the numbers that the administration has provided. And I, you know, I, yeah, I'm reasonably flexible. I just, I just think it's, it's, I think the point that uh, Councilman Collins was trying to make is that if we wait to, to start these, specifically the police class, at that late date in December, we are going to experience um, retirement and other things, and our total number of officers available on the street is going to drop. And, and I don't want to see that. So I'm interested in, in getting us, you know, into a police class and a fire class as soon as um, practical. On the police, as I stated previously, that list is already established. The background checks have already been completed. That class can start earlier than October or December. I recommend it. August. You asked for July and I said it would be better if we say August because I always take into consideration any unforeseeable problems. Okay. There's a difference between what we need for police versus fire. We're just starting out establishing an eligibility list for fire whereby with police we already have the eligibility list and the background checked by the police department and they're complete. So it's just going through the rest of the steps. They have their physicals, and there are a number of other processes that we have to bring in professionals to provide. So don't, don't confuse what is ready for the police class with what we're just starting out for the fire class. So, Ms. Gabriel, then, what you are suggesting is that even though the administration, when they initially proposed their budget, and they intended to have a fire class starting October 1. Um, we're just simply not ready for a fire class, potentially at all during 2008. No, I did not say that. I said we should have an eligibility list ready to start a class in 2008. I said between October and December. So you said October That's and December. Fire. That's for fire. So between October and December. 
I gave you a projection. Okay, would you feel more comfortable with like a November 15th um, start date for fire and an earlier start date for police? November the 15th? You can't do it. Yeah. That, you can't do it. You've got to control it. There's no way you can do that. Not I've on a fire. Said, I've said it several times. Yeah, you can't have a fire list. It's know. impossible to have a fire list by. Can we get a regular order here, please? I believe Miss uh, Webb had more. I'll do respect. Um, can, can we? I don't want you to go anywhere because I do need. I need your professional opinion. But can I bring the chief back up? I just want to see. I mean, because I'm willing to amend this. I mean, if if the consensus is, so chief. What's realistic in terms of the fire class? I'd really like to do it earlier, but I don't see it going before December. Before December. So... I think that's really what we can do. Okay, so a December 1 start date for fire. And basically... And you're saying it's about $145,000? So, okay. So... If we took the police class back to September, we would need, we would be, do you see what I'm saying? So we would start fire December 1 and the police class September 1? And how would those numbers break out? I've got, I hate the thinking on the fly here. September, $145,000. October, November, and December. So basically, to take it back to September, we take the whole $400,000. So if we started October 1 with the police class, which was the original proposal of the administration, that would be $290,000. Yes, because you'd be adding the full month of October and the full month of November. November. Chief Navarre, do you have any thoughts? Thanks, Chief Oliver. Okay, so can can will we uh, will October one work for you? Is that going to get us officers out on the street soon enough? We want to have our max. We want to have our maximum strength uh, for the summer months. So the difference between October and December of this year is going to bump us up. Takes six months to do the training. So either date is going to have those officers ready for street duty for the summer of 09. Whether so they would start in like March or December. One. April 1 kind of thing, maybe out on the street. That's correct, that would take us to April. Okay. Um, so based on that whole little conversation and dialogue, and um, it would be my suggestion then that I amend the amendment um, so that the amendment reflects restore Restore $290,000 to fund $5,200, which is the police, and start the police class and cross out fire no later than October 1, 2008. 